Hello, and welcome back to Scrum Study. How is your learning with Scrum Study going on? Well, in the last video, we learned about the last phase in Scrum methodology, release. It is time to learn this phase in detail with the processes involved. Ship deliverables is first process carried out. So as to understand the process, we need to know the inputs, tools, and outputs involved. Let's learn them one by one. Product owner is the first source of input. One of the outputs of this process is the identification of the product owner. The product owner is the person responsible for achieving maximum business value for the project. He or she is also responsible for articulating customer requirements and maintaining business justification for the project. The product owner represents the voice of the customer. Each Scrum team will have a designated product owner. A small project may only have one product owner, whereas larger projects may have several. These product owners are responsible for managing their sections of the prioritized product backlog. Product owners write the user stories and manage and groom the prioritized product backlog. Next source of input is the stakeholder. Stakeholder, which is a collective term that includes customers, users, and sponsors, frequently interface with the Scrum Core team and influence the project throughout the product development process. It is for the stakeholders that the project produces the collaborative benefits. The stakeholders can be any of the following. Customer. The customer is the individual or the organization that acquires the project's product, service, or other result. For any organization, depending on the project, there can be both internal customers, that is, within the same organization, or external customers, that is, outside of the organization. Users. Users are the individual or the organization that directly uses the project's product, service, or other result. Like customers, for any organization, there can be both internal and external users. Also, in some industries, customers and users may be the same. Sponsor. The sponsor is the individual or the organization that provides resources and support for the project. The sponsor is also the stakeholder to whom everyone is accountable in the end. At times, the same person or organization can play multiple stakeholder roles. For example, the sponsor and the customer may be the same. Next source of input is the accepted deliverables. Deliverables which meet the user story acceptance criteria are accepted by the product owner. The objective of a sprint is to create potentially shippable deliverables or product increments which meet the acceptance criteria defined by the customer and product owner. These are considered accepted deliverables that may be released to the customer if they so desire. A list of accepted deliverables is maintained and updated after each sprint review meeting. If a deliverable does not meet the defined acceptance criteria, it is not considered accepted and will usually be carried forward into a subsequent sprint to rectify any issues. This is highly undesirable because the objective of every sprint is for the deliverables to meet the criteria for acceptance. Now that we have the inputs ready, let's see what tools are available to carry out the process. In the ship deliverables process, the main tools involved are the organizational deployment methods. The deployment mechanisms of each organization tend to be different based on their industry, target users, and positioning. Depending on the product being delivered, deployment can take place remotely or may involve the physical shipping or transition of an item. Because deployment tends to involve a high level of risk, organizations normally have well-defined and established deployment mechanisms with detailed processes in place to ensure compliance with any applicable standards and quality assurance measures. These might include sign-offs by specific management representatives, user approval mechanisms, and guidelines regarding minimum functionality for a release. Now that we have seen the main inputs and tools, it's time to check the outputs of the process. Working Deliverables Agreement. This is the output generated by the process Ship Deliverables. Deliverables that meet the acceptance criteria receive formal business sign-off and approval by the customer or sponsor.
To get formal customer acceptance is critical for review recognition and the responsibility for obtaining it will be defined by the company policies and is not necessarily the responsibility of the product owner. With this, we have come to the end of the video segment on the first process in the release phase, ship deliverables. In the next video, we will be talking about the second process in this phase called retrospect sprint. Until then, keep learning Scrum. Thanks for watching.